Hey everybody, JP from Inksoft, and in this video I want to share two new features that are now available for the Inksoft Online Designer. Now specifically, these are two features that help those customers that embed the Inksoft Online Designer in a third-party custom website. So in order to take advantage of these two new features, what you'll do is log into your Inksoft account, and of course from the left navigation, you'll go ahead and navigate to Designer Embeds. Now of course, from the top right, you have the ability to create a new Designer Embed. I want to point out for those of you that aren't familiar, you can create unique instances of the online designer. So you can control the product mix, the art content that's available, uh, some of the settings and functionality, and you can create these for different sales and marketing opportunities. So you can have an array of different online designers, again, to target different opportunities. So in the event that you haven't created a designer embed yet, you can do so here. Now, in the event you've created you know, designer embeds, they're going to display here. So in this case, I have two. Now what I'm going to do is click edit from an existing designer embed. So I'll click the ellipse icon and I'll click edit. And what I want to do is draw your attention to the branding section. Now again, under settings, these are all of the settings that you can use to control the designer experience for that particular sales and marketing opportunity. So what I'll do is click branding and what you'll see is the two new features will display right below the logo. So of course, we've always maintained the ability to upload a custom logo for that sales and marketing opportunity. I do want to point out in this example, and this is kind of a pro tip here, you can upload a vector SVG file as the designer logo. And there's really two benefits in doing that. Number one, it's going to load much quicker. So a vector file loads uh, infinitely faster in the browser compared to a raster image. Secondly, and probably the most important thing is there's no issues with resolution or quality of display. So today's modern you know, retina devices and high resolution devices, of course, will um, you know, amplify imperfections in a raster image. But with a vector SVG, there is no challenges. No matter how large a monitor display is, uh, it will display perfectly. All right, so I'll call your attention to the bottom two settings, which are new as of our last software release. You have designer styling and you have custom CSS. So as the name implies with designer styling, you can control the button and the accent color in the design uh, experience. So in this case, I have the ability to choose a color with my mouse. I could input a direct HTML hexadecimal value or an RGB value or an HSL value. So this is a way for you to you know, target a very specific color that complements maybe the branded experience on that particular web store and the button and accent color will adopt that particular color. Now notice as you do make color changes, the bu example button and the example uh, text link will update below. So you get a, a real time understanding of what that color will look like as a button and as a link. Now the next feature is custom CSS. Now I need to put a little asterisk here and call out that this is an advanced feature. In order to take advantage of this feature, you'll have to have skills in programming and testing a custom CSS file. Now, if this isn't a skill you have, you can easily hire out for it. It should be a low cost uh, effort to get a professional to craft a custom style sheet for use in your design studio. Now, the value of custom CSS, this will allow you to control the aesthetics, the look of the designer. So if you wanna match you know, more than just the button and accent color, if you want to, again, adopt and implement a lot of your brand aesthetic, uh, custom CSS is a way to achieve that. So because this is an advanced feature and this requires you know, professional skill sets in terms of you know, creating a custom CSS file, the Inksoft support team is unable to provide support on this particular feature. Again, this is a skill set that you'll maybe need to hire out for, or perhaps you have that on staff. I do want to point out that once you do upload a custom CSS file, you'll want to test all of your customizations on the front end to make sure that there's no breaking changes uh, in your custom file. So if you have any questions about these two new features, of course, reach out to the Inksoft Success Squad.